kind of from the start to uh, at least till we can get some numbers input into the uh, construction entrepreneur estimating system uh, to where we have an actual bid and we can start playing with some numbers and you'll see that toward the end there. Um, but we're doing a Sam's Club in Sacramento. I was sent, uh, sent this, this project was sent over to me from a GC that I've done work for before uh, through one of my partnerships. And um, um, I done similar type work like this, so it's a little bit easier. What I did on the, the part one, if you haven't seen that, is that we actually, you know, took the email, opened up the email, uh, reviewed the, pl uh, the project files, which, which are the plans. Then we went through and downloaded the plans. And uh, once we downloaded, we was able to open it up into PDF and uh, showed you how uh, you don't need to print out plans for every plans you get and spend money that, you know, on a project that you don't have. So um, we uh, pulled it up in PDF. We was able to take measurements and, 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 and um, uh, scale a few areas. And uh, we also opened up Google Maps so we can kind of reference different areas of this project to Google Maps. Uh, and basically showing you like, hey, you know what? I don't need to show up at that job, that Sam's Club in Sacramento to do an actual estimate to this job. I can sit right here. Um, matter of fact, I don't even have to go into the office. Um, but I can sit right here, do this estimate, do my takeoff, and come up with a legit legit number to turn into my, my, uh, my, 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 uh, my customer, okay? Now, um, now, back to the folks that are jumping in this uh, from part one to part two. Uh, I have inputted everything in, into uh, the estimate spreadsheet. Let me share that with you. Okay, so here we are. We got Sam's Club, SAC, and um, who am I sending this to? My customers. Now, the great thing about this project here, uh, because I'm familiar with the GCs that are approved to do these uh, SAMS clubs, are the ones that most likely are turning the numbers, I'm able to turn this bid into several different general contractors to give me more of a shot to land this project. So here it is, I have um, Shane's I'll be turning in the project to, Tri-State, Rome Construction, or Rome Development, and AJC. Okay, here is uh, on this estimate, uh, you input the start date that you're starting this on here. And I got some rules here um, for one of the billionaires in the world. Just change it up a little bit. Added it to my bidding es estimating software, something I look at all the time. Uh, main rules to bidding and investing. Number one, don't lose money. Number two, see rule number one. So when you do an estimate, we're not in this to play games. We're not in this to, to lose money. And, and this is why you do estimates and this is why you break it down and actually put it you know, into some type of system. Every estimate needs to be in the system. Um, what you're gonna notice here is that some of these uh, items we're gonna click here, uh, I have already worked in those so I'll be zeroing out some of the, um, the line items there because we will not need them. So bear with me on that. Remember, I just, you know, I'm pulling this up, letting you actually see it from a, a raw standpoint, okay? I thought I was actually going to be able to use some of these areas and some I will, but most I will not. So you have to bear with me on um, erasing some of the content that's in uh, some of the pages as I move through um, this estimate and, and produce these numbers, okay? Um, let's go through it here. So I added the line items. Now, mind you, remember, we had to create the, these line items. My first line item here is a grind and overlay, usually the larger part of this civil work. Now, mind you, uh, what we're doing here on the Sam's Club, we're estimating all the civil work, right? That's all the exterior work that we have to do for the Sam's Club. Um, I'll go in and do the final details as far as what interior concrete work I have to do. Uh, I'll do that on a later video or I'll do that offline. But for the, for, the, for the most part, I'm just showing you how, you know, the steps I take to do an actual estimate. 
and what all goes into that so you're so you're familiar with it all right so uh name of the job sam's club customers who i'm sending it to uh sales tax what we do for sales tax is let me share this with you here okay uh sales already actually looked it up sales ta uh, tax for oops sales tax for sacramento um have to look that up so we're at uh 8.25 okay so we had 8.25 for the sales tax for sacramento okay Let's close this out to not get all confused in here. So we'll go back here and this will be 8.25. Now that percentage will be um, throughout our entire bid on all materials that we purchase. Uh, it will have that sales tax there everywhere it needs to be at. That would be throughout the entire estimate and you change it here. You don't change it on each sheet. All right. So I got an overlay. I got uh, there's a grease interceptor. And I know from doing this type of work uh, uh, before is that with the grease interceptor, usually I demo um, around the grease interceptor. I'll, they're, they're, the, the plumber will empty the grease interceptor or the general will empty it, It'll clean it completely out. I'll go through, I'll demo it out, put it into a hazmat container that's close by or maybe a little distance away. Um, and then the plumber come through, backfill the entire area, compact it, and then I'll come back and repave that area, whether it's concrete or asphalt, and I'll tie that in. Or what if they put a new grease interceptor in? Um, uh, so I put the grease interceptor work because I did see a grease interceptor there. I don't know what's all involved in it. We're going to find out as we push through this estimate. Uh, concrete sidewalk, ADA domes. What that's for is uh, all concrete sidewalks I'll be doing and, um, and then the, uh, any ADA areas. There's a lot of ADA dome mats that go in place on these large box stores. You will see it as you go out to Costco, Walmart, Home Depot. They have a lot of ADA, dome, the truncated dome mats uh, in front of the store. The truncated dome mats are for the blind. It lets the blind know that they're going into traffic. Okay. That's what it's, that's what it's for. So, uh, and that's what that, that means there. And then next is, uh, concrete ramps. For my concrete ramps, that means that all peg ramps, I treat all peg ramps differently. Okay. Cause they can range from, uh, 4,500 to 7,500 to install depending on, uh, where they're at. And, and how big they are and, and what, how many dome mats have to be put in there, right? So, um, yeah, they can range. So I like to separate uh, those uh, concrete ramps and kind of label each one differently. So we'll go through that as well. And then I noticed there's some sidewalk handrail, sidewalk, uh, sidewalk handrail that we have to get there. And I'll just get a sub quote for that, okay? And then uh, that'll be that'll be that for that. So uh, this would be uh, grease intercept would be a lump sum. Uh, so concrete sidewalk would be more of a square footage. Uh, concrete ramps. Um, I don't know if I'm do square footage uh, or each. You know. Um, let me see here. Sidewalk handrail would be a lump sum based on my subs number. All right. So like I said, uh, like we're clicking this grind and overlay section and, um, you'll see existing numbers here. Okay. And these existing numbers are from the last overlay I did, which was, uh, um, a Sam's club. Okay. So <clears throat> let's look at this here. All right, uh, so I got supervision section. I got install new bollards, um, uh, then no activities for any of these. And um, coming down here, um, some signage I got in here, bollards, and we'll get into all that. 
Then here's where my subcontractors numbers go. Okay. Now, mind you, I have this estimate spreadsheet. As you guys see this and see that you can utilize it, it's for all different types of companies. Uh, I've probably been building, building on this spreadsheet here for the last eight years. And the reason why I created it is because there's so many other programs that's out there. I did done Plan Swift, On Center, Stack. Um, I did done a um, number of estimate system, ACSS, Heavy Bid. Uh, where that one's complicated and, and, and allows you to do a lot of functions with it. And um, I took all my knowledge from all these estimate, estimating systems that I have dealt with and I actually combined it into something that the average person can work with. You know, you don't have to be an Excel genius to work my estimate system. So I do sell this estimate system and I do sell training for it as well. So uh, make sure you reach out to us if you would like uh, a copy to it. And it's constantly improving and upgrading. And once you have it, uh, you always send updates. And, you know, it's not that much extra to, to, to receive updates, especially if it's just some minor stuff that I'm updating. All right. So um, I have to get this square footage here. None of this is, 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 is there. Um, a lot of stuff here needs to be zeroed out as well and we'll go through and zero that out because the grease interceptor is not seventeen thousand dollars <laughs> right or maybe right i don't know we'll see here i'll zero this out as well okay okay so this is uh we can we can go back to uh, let's go back here Okay. Five. Okay. So, um, let's uh, let me take a little bit of time and zero these out here. Like I said, I was actually going to um, use part of this, uh, but I am using part of it, but I'm not able to use uh, other parts of it. So. Bear with me on that. Like I said, this is raw data here. Okay. There's that 8.25 sales tax on that. Okay. Remember that? that that's the 8.25 sales tax. Um, also, too, it allows you to uh, discount your own equipment. You know, you can change that here. You can change that to zero if you don't want to discount anything. Uh, owning your own equipment allows you to have that competitive advantage. So uh, sometimes I'll um, I'll discount my own equipment. I don't have a lot of equipment with a lot of my uh, my uh, partnerships. We don't have a lot of equipment. Hopefully, in the next year or so, we can um, start having more of that there. Okay. But uh, and maybe I might edit this out here so you guys don't have to go through all this with me. If not, then you'll see it right there. <laughs> all right. Uh, but uh, what it what it does is once you once you have a blank copy, like I have a blank copy. But really, I'm, I'm really deciding to uh, to uh, to use um, you know uh, kind of recycle one. If you got a blank copy, then you know you just use your blank copy and a lot quicker, a lot faster, and um, you don't have to do a lot of this, a lot of this what I'm doing right now. Okay, you won't have to worry about that. Okay. Oops. All right. So All 
Don't forget to subscribe and like my channel, uh, especially if you're getting some, you know, some some real information here. And I'll continue to post info like this. This really helps out, you know, the average contractor because you just don't know how to do these things. And there's no one out there to really show you how to do it. Now, once you look up here at the top, you know, let me make sure. Once you look up here at the top, you'll see uh, what the bid total is. See, it's zeroed out. So you're good with that, okay? Here we want to make sure. I want to zero this one out too. Okay. What side is this? This is nothing here. So let's go through this here. Make sure you check out my other videos. Um, got plenty of videos out there dealing with um, um, your overhead, how to figure out your overhead calculations, um, how to uh, understand your gross profit. Okay. Um, I do videos, tips, weekly tips. Make sure you look at that as well. Um, and um, just plenty of things on this channel that that I offer that uh, that you you're not getting anywhere else. Which is a good thing, right? Um, so make sure you save it into a, an area that you need to save it into. You know. Okay, so this area here is good. This one's good, that's good. So we'll go back here and close. This will be the last one we have to close out. And uh, then we'll be able to uh, rock and roll. Like I said, I, um, mm -mm. Okay, let's go through here, zero this out here. And all these other numbers that you see locked in here, you can change them, you know. Um, if you need to change them, you can change them. It's not, not set in place. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Last one here. Make sure we're good. Okay, so we're good to go. Let's save that. All right, let's go back over here. Grind and overlay. So what we do here is when we're doing grind and overlay, <clears throat> we go back to uh, to our plans here. Oops. Go back to our plans, which is hold on here. Uh oh. What's going on with that? Why are you not? Uh, let's see here. Remember my phone calls. Don't forget I do. Okay, got okay, okay. Hold on there. 
Sorry about this. I, I'm not, it's not opening up. Oh, there it is. Okay, so. There it is there. Okay, so we're back at the plans. It's my sister telling me she loved me. Telling me she loved me. She probably wants some money. That's how they use it. Or try. I love you. Let me hold something. Well, you know it. Anyway, um, okay, so we're back here on the plan sheet. So we want to look for the section that's uh, that we have to grind, do grinding cap on, uh, and some pavement work on, right? Okay. And remember, we have it to where it's showing us what they want us to do at the, or the existing conditions. And then uh, a little bit about what they want us to do on the existing conditions and the new, okay? So we, we see how it looks and what they want there, okay? So that's interesting. That's, that's pretty good. So uh, basically, we're reading these plans. And, and as you, you know, you have your own trades to where you... Um, you have different legends and, and read out and call outs. And depending on where you're at in that level of plan reading, it becomes as easy, as easy, as easy, and you get things done a lot quicker. Uh, for me, um, this is what I'm, I'm good at. I know it, you know. And then once again, I told you this, I'm familiar with this work. So we want to figure out a few things here. So um, it looks like, let's see here. Zoom in here, Let's get the hands so we can move the plans around. And uh, mind you, I'm on a PDF uh, link where I just open it in PDF and you're able to do a lot, lot more things here. Um, so if you notice here, um, um, this is uh, requiring you to do some pass-throughs here so uh, maybe a pass-through here, you look up top. Yeah, so it's a pass-through there, pass-through there. Um, looks like I'm, I'm actually creating, um, looks like I'm demoing part of it and creating uh, a planner on the other side of there. Um, if you see there, um, that's what I'm doing. So six and ten. What's six and ten? And we got to look whether it's a square or a circle. So six and ten square. Oops. Square. Sorry about that. I jumped off this page. It's crazy. Okay, so six and ten. Six is demo existing asphalt pavement and remove base course if encountered. See here, six. And then 10, demo existing landscape entry, cap irrigation as to still allow flow through the rest of the system. Okay. And that pointed to this section right here, which is pretty neat because we look at here and we can see that it's in this section here right so um let's go back here so they said that we had to remove a tree right and it's right here in this section here and that's going to be there so it's the second one um over there how big is that tree we got to remove and most likely we we pump well, i probably will not be removing the tree and uh, sometimes I, I go down to uh, to the actual street level. They allow me to. Still loading. So uh, allow to, to, to bring me down to street level. I can actually see the size of that tree and, 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 and everything that's involved in it. Um, or maybe, let me see, let me back up here. Oh, no, it's this one here, right? It's this one here because it's missing another planner. So I got to add an extra planner here and remove this tree here. So let's see. 
See if it can bring me down. So I, I this is also you know what I do here when I'm looking at these jobs here. And of course, it's a lot quicker. I'm not training wide with every estimate I'm doing. But I take Google Earth. Hey, buddy, look at that. So this, look, look, look. <laughs> I'll snatch this tree out <laughs> with a uh, with a mini X, right? So uh, when we were looking at Google Earth. The um the aerial view it did it looked like a huge tree right but as I zoom down in here this tree is quite quite small so um um I will not have to get a sub a landscaper sub or arbitrist out there I'll I'll just demo that tree myself and uh, it'll be part of my demo so we probably cut off part of this curb here make that entry sidewalk demo this add the other curb in here and then create that pass through there with the other planner there so that that looks pretty good pretty cut and dry so let's um let's go back here so um that doesn't look too too bad there so uh, so that's part of the asphalt work that we have to do right um let's see here one square one what is that that's why it's good to have a larger monitor i usually have two monitors here um uh, on the side i need to buy another monitor because my uh my uh my twin somehow knocked it over and broke the monitor knows it the other day so i usually have two screens here where um where I'm, I have two areas open or it's a larger area so I don't have to move around on these plans like I have to do just on my laptop. So that's another option too, is to hook up to your TV or hook up to a larger screen, make sure you have two screens going and where it's two separate or it's extend on to, to, to your, uh, uh, your main monitor and um, it makes it a little bit easier. All right, so we're looking for, I want to see what one is, and I want to uh, see what one and two is of the squares. Uh, one is striping and seal coat area. Two is remove sign and post and bollard. So it would be, you know, remove that out of that area there, okay? All right, so, so let's put, um, Let's measure this area up. So four, what is four? Four of a circle, right? Four. Yeah, four of a circle is what? Propose uh, striping, okay. Uh, 11 of a circle is uh, construct asphalt pavement per detailed Three sheet nine o one. I'm trying to find out what this large area. What do I need to do in this large area here? Um, oh, let's see here. So the legend says, what do I need to do here? So if you see here, so propose a one inch mill and overlay uh, to a to propose grade. So it's right here, right? So that goes here in this entire area here and this gets demoed out right because now it becomes all parking so i need to uh and then in that area too you might have to put in base right so what we'll do here so we'll say demo uh, uh planners so because i'll demo those separately so let's go here So grind and overlay. So my supervision, I always keep that there. Um, guys at $30 an hour, that means that I'm paying him, whoever I have out there, the max they get is $30 an hour. Now the great thing with using one rate, and I always do this, I, I, the only reason, the only way I won't use one rate if I'm, um, doing a uh, maybe a public works job where you know you have to use different uh, uh, tradesmen labor framer uh, cement mason 
uh, another labor uh, equipment operator, then I'll kind of interchange between those rates. But, and, and my program allows you to, to do that too as well over here. Labor rates allows you to put, you know, CNET Mason apprentice, uh, lead man and, and different type of other um, options you can put there for us. Um, wages and tradesmen and title. You can even put the employee's name there if you want it. Tyrone Jones and put his pay rate and everything a, a transfer here. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So I keep the supervision there. I don't want to change that. I want to keep it there. Uh, but I'll come back to this because that supervision will be based on how long my work is going to be here. Okay. So that's what that'll be. But uh, right now I want to try to get my square footage down for my, my asphalt. Let's get that out the way. Okay. And then we'll come back and, and, and kind of figure out that demo section. So we know all this is going to be that. So like I said, uh, uh, using the tools here, okay? And um, um, actually going through, and we know the scale here is one inch equals 10 feet. So I click the tool, click the measuring portion of the tool, right click, change the scale ratio. So one inch equals 10 feet is there. Click, that's good. So now we want to, uh, sometimes they give the square footage here, um, depending on what architect has, um, has, uh, has, has, has list, listed these plans, they give a, a square footage here. So this area is what I'm grinding, okay? I'm grinding this area here, okay? And if you see here, um, also, also up here is what I'm grinding too. But um, if you notice here is what I'm grinding here is, now that's not, this right here is not complete. And I know it goes further than that. You're not just gonna, you know, it's no, there's no additional space up here, but I know I'm not gonna just continue, cut off my grind right here, right? I know that I'm, I'm just not gonna just stop it right here. I know there's more areas above here that I need to account for, and we'll do that on Google Earth, okay? But you have to know that to, um, to, uh, to be able to um, account for it, okay? So. Let me get rid of this here, delete. Okay, all right, so I want to get the square footage tool, um, and then I want to account for this stuff here. So, it don't have to be right on the Zach. Uh, I'd rather get a little over here than under. And I'm just trying to get the square footage here. If I had a mouse on my laptop, it would be a lot better. Ah. Okay, so it tells me that's uh, 38, 32 square feet. I'll plug it in, that's 39 square feet. See that, 38, 32, 33. I'll plug it in, that's 3,900 square feet. I don't mess around with the, uh, the pennies. You can easily eat that up in, in, your, uh, in your footage. So 39 square feet. I'll make sure I plug that in here. Go back. Thirty nine hundred square feet for that. Okay, let's go back here. So thirty nine hundred, and uh, okay. this here. Okay. 
just trying to get the close square footage. Tyrone speaking. Yes, this is this is he. Yep, this is Tyrone. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Okay, awesome. You're welcome. All right, sorry about that. Okay. Anyway, so um, so next area is um, oh wow, let's see your phone. Okay, so next area is um, uh, three thousand fifty-one square feet. So we'll do thirty-one. It's plugged in at uh, that area is thirty-one. Where are we at? Thirty one hundred square feet. Okay, let's save that. Okay. So <clears throat> thirty one hundred square feet. We got the two areas there. Oh, 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 let's do that. Cancel that. Let's, let's kind of take off that measurement tool there. Okay. So um and um now we got 3,100 square feet, right? Um, now we know that the areas in here, in the middle here where these planters are at, right? These planters, these, uh, these planters here, planters here, and these planters here. Now we know that we're going to have to put base in those, right? And, we, and then also too, the square footage that we just did is only for the, the one to two inch overlay. Now they say one inch, but we're gonna actually factor in two inches because it's just impossible to just do one inch and you never know how the grade is. So you have to make sure this area complies with the 2%, right? So matter of fact, since this area is not, oh, it is existing 2%. Okay, it's, so it should be existing 2%. Let's do one thing here. Let's, let's look at this. This is one thing I'll look at here too. It makes it hard. So uh, how you can tell that the areas that, that, you're, that you're looking at um, uh, is at 2%, a lot of times you can see the, the outline of what has been paved here before, okay? So, let's see here. Hmm, it's kind of hard. Uh, Kind of hard to see here. You could tell they did some type of work right here. Probably just blacked it out. That's what it looks like. I don't see a hard line there. Okay. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for uh, an area that somebody did some paving here. That um, so it doesn't look like paving was done here before. Okay. Uh, you could tell what I'm looking for is things like this here. You see here, looks like there were some paving done there. And you know this by actually working in your trade, right? You can see that that, that area, you can see here in this area here, there was some work done, came over here. Looks like it came over here probably. It's kind of hard to tell. It looks like they may have had a trench right here. 
and went 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 over there. So um, it's kind of hard to tell, but sometimes it's more pronounced, sometimes it's not. Wish I can go over there. It won't let. It won't allow me. But um, uh, basically, you get the idea. I'm looking for uh, areas that I can see that may have been uh, a lot of times. What Walmart and Sam's Club do is that they just redo things just because it looks new and it brings less liability. It brings less lawsuits. When things look newer, people tend to 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 uh, to, to challenge them a lot less. Anyway, so so. In this situation here, as a as an asphalt and concrete contractor, uh, because I will have to make sure this area is at two percent, um, either I will factor my bid in to be at four inches to bring it from new to to, to take it down to to subgrade and bring it back up to two inches because trying to get your 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 parking lot to be at two inches is tough okay uh, uh it's not an easy thing the material for asphalt is a lot tougher to work with than with concrete okay so um you, you really have to be careful with this and you really have to think about this so what i'll do here is to not put my bid out of the range uh, uh to put me still in the running because no one else is going is probably not going to recognize this and maybe they will okay but why put an extra work to do four inches when I know that's probably the correct way to do it? But see, what gets us in trouble and, and puts us out of the running is that, uh, uh, and it, sometimes it hurts us looking at jobs because we add work into our estimate that's extra work. Stop adding extra work into your estimate. So what I'll do is I'll factor in the one inch the one inch grind and overlay, and I'll make sure I have in my contract uh, 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 grind does not include more than one inches, right? I'll word it to where they know it does not include one inches. So when I go out there, if once I go out there and I get the job and I determine that I'm not able to make that work within those one inches, and I need to bring it down to a full depth, then that's when I'll file for an extra. It cannot work the way you have laid it out in our plans. Now, sometimes you got to be careful. Some plans and some GCs say, hey, you need to go out and feel verified to make sure you can make that work. But I fight it. If you're calling it out for me to do one inch and make 2% work within an 88 area, then uh, uh, your, your engineers or whoever did the survey here should really make sure that that one inch can really happen. So uh, this discrepancies and, and numbers that you need to be conscious of so you can fight at a later date and not lose money on this, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to factor in the one inch, which is actually two inches uh, for this entire area here, okay? So um, let's do this here. So that's that. So now we want to take this area here, right? So now we got a uh, area here that we want to take that crosswalk there. We want to take that all the way up. So nine and six, what's nine and six of the circle? Nine is uh, one inch overlay and six is stripe, okay? So it needs some ADA striping here. So I can't see that whole area there. So what I'm gonna do here is Let's uh, usually it gives you an option to pull out, but let me see here. Bear with me. Okay. Oh, wow. Not done. I'm gonna go too far. So, so what I wanna do here is I wanna get this entire area right here. So we have, let's go back here. So if you look here, this is the area here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to measure the width of this here and um, I'm going to measure the width of here, um, of this here, and then I'm going to 
do another measurement on Google Earth that measure, you know, from here all the way to the next curve because I'm going to have to do, I'm going to factor all that into my bit. So, make sure my ratio is good. Boom. And then I'm going to take it and. Okay. So distance is uh, 15 feet and 22. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, 16 feet across. So I'm gonna do 16 feet across there, right? And uh, then I'm gonna do this here, 16 feet across. And uh, looks like I'm gonna go from here. So 34 feet, okay? Do 34 feet here. So I'm gonna do 34 feet, which is, I'm gonna do 35 feet. So uh, what was my measurement? Uh, so So 35 feet by six, was that 16, 16 feet? So 35 feet by 16 feet is my measurement, right? So it gives me, um, let's do this. I'll hold up here. Let me make sure. 35 feet by 16 feet. So 35 feet by 16 feet equals 560 square feet. Let's put that calculator up. Square feet, okay. So that's 560 square feet. Okay. 560 square feet for that section. Um, let me see. Do, 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 Okay. So, um, then we got to cut out that section too. So, um, all right. So we got that, we got that section there. Um, that's going to just be restriped. So we'll do the blackout and everything. That's just a sub bit. Uh, this will be protected in place. We'll demo this. So we'll do demo. Okay. So let's do this here. So um, we got um, all the asphalt. So let's, let's total this up here. Right, so we got uh, 3,900 plus 3,100 equals plus 560 square feet of grind. So we got 8,560 square feet. Eight, uh, seven, I mean, 7,560, right? No, 7,560 square feet, right? So 7,560 square feet, we wanna put this here. Boom, wanna make sure we go down here. And we'll clean up some of this 75 60 square feet so let's grind quick 75 60 change that to 8,000 let's keep it at 75 was it 75 50 or 75 60 75 60 four bucks 30,000 
uh, striping in this area will need to be needed as well. We'll add to that seal coat um, in this area is not needed right now. Uh, we'll also put hotel and pre dam once we come here. We'll make sure we put that in there. Uh, we make sure we put base in there as well. Okay. Um, let me see here. Okay. So, um, supervision is that we'll do, um, let's see here. We'll do. Mm -mm. Okay. So we'll do <coughs> demo of planners. Um, AC the planners and AC. Okay. Now, Let's go back here. So we got demo of planners and AC. We already plugged in our asphalt square footage. Uh, we also plugged in number four striping in this area here because it's going to take new striping for this area as well. We usually do our striping, striping, our striping number by square footage number. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So um let me plug this in here. All right, so um uh we got that factor in. Let's do see here, it looks like something is going around here. Maybe that's the the asphalt, right? The asphalt of full depth of the demo section, right? So we got demo um let me see here. So that's demo is uh so we got seven. What's seven? Uh install truncated dome, seven. That's great. Six is striping four. What's four? Four is probably striping two. Striping. Okay. And then we got um Seven, do we look up? Yeah, we look up. Seven is truncated domes. Um, what is that? Six is striping. Eight. What's eight? Eight is construct concrete sidewalk. And what's that outside one there? Is that 11? That's 11. I think we looked up 11 already, right? Asphalt pavement per detail. So that'll be full depth, right? So let's also put let's also put <clears throat> so demo planners. Um, full depth AC, right? Um, AC. Uh, base insulation. To base insulation. Insulation of concrete uh, pass through. Okay. 
sidewalk. Okay. Sidewalk. I'm just adding uh, the activities in here. Okay. Got the striping, got the demo, uh, we got the concrete, uh, we got the, um, we'll do planner curbs, sidewalk, and curbs. So we put them both together planner, uh, concrete, pass through, and sidewalks. Oops. Oops, and curbs and curbs, okay. Planners and curbs, what else do we have here? I think that's, oh, and then we got these, what is number three? Remember number uh, 11 was the full depth paving. Number three looks like some new boyards there, which is something that we got. Install parking sign on post. So parking sign on post, C detail 13, sheet C9, 13 sheets. Okay, so what is, uh, do, 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 do. Team. Oh, they have me, put, usually they have me put the sign in the ball yard. What's weird is that um, on post per detail 13, sheet nine, and one, sheet C10. Okay, here it is. So it was another detail that called out. Sheet 10, detail one. Okay, that's one. Oh, it's detail one here. So yeah, they, they always want you to install it on uh, uh, in the ball yard. So let's go back here. Okay, so those number, those, those, so we have to demo existing. So we got a demo. Uh oh, what is 15? Protect in place. Okay, 15, 20, 20 should be protect in place. I've seen a lot of the squares up, or, or, or well, nine demo existing landscape screen. Okay, so there may be some trees on these little square areas here. We need to make sure there's not. But uh, what we were doing is um, uh, getting rid of these number two. Let's see number two. So remove existing sign and post and bollard, right? So let's do demo bollards. So. So let's do this, demo bollards. You know, um, I was thinking, I was actually going to add demo bollards to demo planners. I don't see why I can't do that at the same time, you know? Um, that's what I might do. I might do demo bars as, as, um, and do installation of bollards because they're easy to do. Install bollards. Um, so what we want to do, so we want to put demo of uh, bollards here in the, in the, um, AC. And so, so I don't forget that, right? Um, that's, that's crucial, right? So I got one, let's see here. So they're not touching any of these that's in these planners here. So I got one, two, three, three that I'm demoing, okay? 
three ballers I'm demoing. So it's very minor. So I think it's a great deal that I'm doing in three ballers. Okay. And then there's, um, there is, oh, we're installing because that's number three, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're installing 14 ball yards. Okay. What's number 13? So we're installing post two. Um, installing what, 14? Let's make sure again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 ball yards with signs, with ADA signs. So install 14 ball yards with ADA sign, right? Plus, plus sign only. So um, 13, I wanna also add installation on those sign only. So 13, I gotta put in a sign here. One, two, three. Remember that's what 13 was, three. Another one here, four, five, six, seven. Okay, eight, there's another one here. I gotta see what those 13s are. Eight of those. So it looks like they're already existing. So plus eight signs only. All right, so what are those signs, right? Number 13? Number 13 is what? Uh, 13 is install stop. So it's a stop sign, right? It's a stop sign that we need to install on each of those there, okay? Stop sign. Okay. Uh, what else is there? I think that's it here. Also, too, you know, working in um, in construction or doing asphalt, you know that around this perimeter where you're going into, you're going to have to grind full depth around this perimeter, okay? So uh, we're going to also add that into, um, into our bid because you have to zero it out, right? And depending on how you have to add or subtract, you have to, tra that, that transition has to be smooth. So sometimes you may have to bring this out a little bit further. It seems like this is enough, but I don't know where the existing grade is at, right? That's one of the disadvantages of not actually looking at it, right? Uh, but it looks like this is definitely enough room here uh, this may be need to come out a little bit here. This may need to come out a little bit to here too. So what I'll do is I'll factor in uh, another, probably another foot over here to come down here, add to that. I'll leave this the same. I'll add here. And all this would be full depth, right? I'll add here and I'll add this as full depth. So what I'll do here is, um, because I'll, I, you definitely want, or what I'll do here is I'll just do the, the total length, uh, with what that is, and then I'll add five feet of full depth for each side, okay? Full depth pavement, okay? Because I wanna account for that, all right? So, Okay. 
So let's do that. Let's do that tool real quick. I don't see a tool here. Use this. So I'll say 70 feet, right? I'll say 70 feet, 60, 70 feet. So 70 times one, two, three, four times four. So uh, we got 70, oops, 70 times 70 feet total. Well, 70 feet times four equals 280 feet, right? 280 linear feet times five feet of full depth is 1,400, 1400 square feet. So I need 1,400 square feet. For ADA transition, okay. So we're just putting all the activities together for this actual, just one sheet right here, right? Um, okay. Let's get the close out your measurement tool. So it looks like we got everything except uh, uh, the additional striping. We, we included that area there. Uh, now let's, we got the, area there for striping. Now we want to do the striping for here, um, here, all this, and here up here, okay? I want to add that striping into it as well, okay? And then that, uh, that passback area where I went the full depth or the 1400 square feet is gonna be outside of this parking area. So we don't have to factor that in in there. But we need to factor, um, uh, we got this area in the striping, okay? That can be included in there. Uh, we're just gonna need this new area here. The area here, because this area is gonna change as well. And then uh, the area um, over here, this needs to be blacked out, it looks like. They're not gonna have this area open for ADA anymore. Okay, so we wanna come for the tool here. Let me catch this area too as well in here. Oh, they're all one. So I need to square for this room. All right, 56 square feet there. 56 square feet. Uh, I got another bone. Okay, another uh, 1,086 square feet. Okay, and um, so I need to factor in all this here, but once again, I can't factor that in. So we know it's 35 feet long, right? So now I need to switch to this one here, 35 feet long. So I'm gonna go from here to here. So I'll go uh, 62 feet by 35 feet, 62 feet by 35 feet. Oops, plus, oh, 62 feet by 35 feet. Equals 2170. Um, of that whole area. Because that whole area there, I know is going to need to be blacked out and re redone. 
okay? Because they only want it to, to be shortened up. So it's a lot of work right there. So uh, that area, and then we got this area here. It's 27, so you got this area. So get up out of this here. So you got um, 56, 51, so 57 plus equals plus 1090, 1080, 1086, so plus 1090 equals 3377 square feet that we want to add on to that, 33, 3317 square feet. What is number 19? 33 square feet we want to add on, 3317. Demo and remove existing speed bump, replace with asphalt. So we got to... Um, Get rid of these speed bumps as well. It's just like there's just one there at all. So I add that to um, to my grind, and then yeah, I just add that to the grind. Um, I add that to the grind. Thirty. I add thirty-five feet by uh, two feet. Okay, add that to the grind. Okay, so I want to add. Um, what was that? Thirty. I got rid of my calculator. Oh, shucks. Oh, my gosh. I lost my calculator. What was that? 31 something, 70? Gosh. So you had 62 times 35 is um, 35 plus the 56, so 57 feet plus 57 equals plus another uh, 1,087. Plus thousand eighty seven. Oh, uh, I think that's it there. So what, what was that? That was uh, actually thirty three fourteen. So we we'll do thirty three fourteen. We want to add that thirty three fourteen. Striping. Okay, so 75, 60 plus 33, 14 equals 14, 188. 14, 188. All right, so um, seal coat. Um, but actually being the... Um, the seal coat would actually be in the 3314 area. 14 area for now. All right, so um I'll take a break here.